Hey guys, today's video is all about the 3 Doodler, which is a 3D printing pen, and I got mine for Christmas. The way I'm setting up this video is first, I'm going to be showing the packaging and the pen up close. I'm going to do a demo on it and show you how you use it. And then at the end, I'm going to tell you my opinion and give a review and tell you, you know, what I think of the product and if it's worth buying. How's that for a short and sweet intro? Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Now, let's get into it. This is the 3 Doodler 2.0 well the box for it and I'm just spinning it around to show you all the sides which basically tell you that the pen gets hot and it lists the contents you'll find inside now let's open it here you can see some plastic the pen and a couple of instruction manuals this one's basically written in every single language including the only one I know how to speak which is a good thing then there's a quick start guide which highlights some of the key points you should know about this product. It's kind of like 3 Doodler 2.0 for dummies. Moving on to the plastic, there's this pack called Highlighter Mix and this one, the Essentials Mix. Both have 25 strands each. Here we have the 3 Doodler itself in the flesh, well in the plastic, metal, whatever it's made of. I'm zooming in on all the different parts, angles of it to give you a closer look. When you lift up the black tray, more items are suddenly revealed. There's a power cord, some mini tools, and this long cleaning wand. Time for the demo! I'm plugging in the cord on top like so. Then check the pack of plastic that you want to use in order to determine if the pen setting should be on low or high. After about a minute, the light will turn from red to blue, which means you can now insert a plastic strand. Push this in near the charging cord and you should hear a little click to let you know that it's inserted correctly. It's going to take at least 30 seconds for the plastic to start melting, at least that was my experience, so be patient when you click either of these buttons with the wavy lines. The smaller button means that the plastic is going to come out slowly and the larger one is for fast. So beginners definitely want to start with the smaller one. If you double click a button, the plastic will come out on its own until you press the button again to stop it. Otherwise, you're just going to hold your finger down on either one of the buttons to gain more control. When you take your finger off, the plastic will stop flowing. Here I'm using paper as a placemat for drawing. The shapes will pop right off after only a couple seconds of cooling. Practice making various easy shapes at first, such as the star I just did, or the 3D box I'm about to create right now. When drawing a vertical line, you'll want to keep pulling up on the pen very slightly even after you take your finger off the button. This will just help the plastic to harden before you move the pen away. If you end up making a section too long, it's really easy to trim with a pair of scissors. You can also try drawing on tape, which I just stuck down on the paper. Be sure to press down on the tip of the pen while you're drawing so the plastic stays in place while you work. Here's all the experimenting I was able to do with just a single strand of plastic. And there's still a little bit stuck inside. So let me show you the cleaning tool now. This metal rod with a springy bottom is going to go in the same spot that the plastic does and this is going to push out plastic once that plastic is too short to come out on its own. To remove the cleaning tool, hold down both buttons at the same time, keep them pressed down, then gently pull the handle on top after a few seconds have passed. When you switch to a new color, a gradient effect will happen at first, since a tiny bit of the previous plastic will still be in the tip of the pen. If you want to switch colors and the plastic strand happens to be long enough to stick out of the top like this one, it can be removed the same exact way that you remove the cleaning tool, so hold both buttons down and pull gently. And remember, always, always snip off the stringy end so you can use the plastic again later if you put in a stringy plastic 
strand, then it might jam your pen. But we're going to talk about jamming right now. If you notice that the plastic is flowing out extra slowly or not at all, there are a couple ways to fix it. One is to carefully remove the tip with the wrench tool like I just did. Secondly, you could remove this little door on the back to see if plastic is trapped in the gear. Either way, make sure to read the directions very carefully so you don't break the pen. I was able to get the plastic flowing like new once again. Also, here is a little cupcake that I constructed. So that was the three doodler, guys. What did you think? My opinion on this is that it is a lot of fun and I'm going to enjoy making more things with it. I only did the cupcake for now, but I am working on a dino that looks kind of like a polymer clay charm I did a while back and I'm doing a mini cupcake. So if you want to see me maybe doing a speed demo of one of those things or if you want to see a creations video of like everything that I make uh, after a while then let me know. Getting back to what I think, definitely fun, definitely a challenge and it takes a lot of time to get used to. Well not a lot of time but it definitely does take time to get used to at first and it is very challenging to work on the repair part of this so if it does get jammed you have to know how to take off the tip. You have to, if that doesn't work, take off this part. I was not able to get this back on all the way, so this metal bar is kind of sticking halfway out, and I'm going to have to ask for help when Craig gets home and have him put that in. I'm sure he can do it. I imagine that this thing is easy to break and easy to do wrong because they give you an extra one of these covers. It is pretty noisy. I was really surprised when I turned this on that it had a whirring buzzy noise the entire time. I thought it would be actually more like a hot glue gun. But there is a gear inside that turns all the time and I showed you guys that. So that's just something to think about. The noise isn't an issue for me, it's just something I really didn't expect. Of course, I would love for it to be quieter or even silent, but it's really not a big issue for me. Changing colors is really easy like I showed you, but it does get to be a pain in the butt because I'm used to being able to like take a piece of clay and choose another color whenever I want to with this. If the plastic's already all the way down inside, even if it just ended, you can't get it back out unless you take this cover off, and then that's just a whole other story. But basically, you have to use the plastic once it's in here because you can't back it out. So that gets really annoying if you don't want to make something with the same color. You kind of have to use it all up and waste it. But I am very excited that there are over 50 colors of this plastic. I have 20 of them right now. The price of this, okay, so that's another thing. This is rather expensive. It's $99, I believe, just for the box with the pen and the two packs of uh, plastic. So you get 50 sticks or strands as they call them. So that's what you get for $100, you know, the charging cord, everything I showed at the beginning. But this is marketed for adults only. Now, if I were still a child, I would definitely have my parents get this for me because, you know, I was responsible and careful and everything. But it is something that if you are going to give it to children or if you are a child and you want to use it, definitely be careful and or if you're an adult, watch your children with it and make sure, you know, they know how to use it. They definitely might need help with it and definitely might. Um, I'm saying, you know, some kids are better at doing things than others. Um, some kids will probably be able to get this on better than I am able to because I'm not able to. I've been working at this for a while. Can't do it. You have to angle it down right and... Ah. The first night that I used this, which was when I filmed most of the stuff at the beginning of the video, there were no jamming issues and it was working fine, but I noticed like when I turned it on the second day and there was already plastic inside of it, then that's when the jamming stuff started to happen. So always try to use the cleaning tool 
um, when you're done with it or before you turn it off and push it down in there and get out everything that you can. I think that will help a little bit. But I do want to show you this. It's not broken, but I already bent my spring on the cleaning tool. I'm pretty bummed about that. It bothers me that I've like bent something that I need to use. It still works and it still fits down in there. I swear it does. <laughs> I was just using it. Oh, because the plastic is up higher. Duh, Sarah. There's also another part on here where you can adjust the temperature. I tried to do that. I, it didn't seem to do anything. So definitely read the entire instruction, instruction manual before you use this and learn everything that there is to know so you don't break it. Normally, I just like to use the quick start guide for products, but I needed the instructions for this to know exactly how to use it and not break it. <laughs> oh, one of the other things is I showed you, or I'm showing you now, a clip of the length of the power cord. I didn't measure it or anything, I'm sure it says, but I do wish that it was six inches to a foot longer, only because my craft room is set up so weird that my desk is actually covering the outlet that is back there on that wall. So if I could use that outlet for the pen, then it would be really nice and I'd be able to use it in the middle of my desk. But I have to use the outlet over there and it had to stretch all the way across here and I could only use it on the corner of my desk. When I was using it in the kitchen, that wasn't a problem, but I was trying to film in here. Nothing an extension cord can't solve though, so don't worry. Also, I noticed in the quick start guide that there's a nozzle pack that you can get so there's different shapes of tips that you can put on, kind of like cake decorating. So I do want to try that at some point. And if there's any other accessories that go along with it, I'm going to check those out or look into what they are, I guess. I guess that concludes the review. Just kidding, there is one more thing that I forgot to mention that I know of. You do have to leave this plugged in while you use it. It's kind of like a hot glue gun, as I've been saying. I don't have any other points to talk about that are in my head right now. If I did miss anything or there's questions that you have, of course, you can leave me comments below. Also, in the comments section, let me know what product or products I should review next because I do have a lot of fun testing out products for you guys and, you know, doing videos on them. A new DIY will be coming next week on Friday. I wanted to take a little break this week from doing a full-blown DIY since I did a couple last week, and I just really wanted to film, you know, my gold play button unboxing and this review in the same week and post the videos sooner rather than later. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye! This little Yoshi got a lot of attention in my previous videos and this is the Yarn Yoshi Amiibo and it's for Yoshi's Woolly World and it actually does something if you put it on the game system but I just got it as decoration. I do have the game but yeah he just he wanted to say hi today. I have been playing Yoshi games since Super Nintendo days. Oh,